The RCM is absolutely delighted to be hosting this event here and uh, we've worked very closely with our um, steering committee member Janet to assist her in taking this event forward. Our sister college, the RCOG, has very kindly let us use their premises and I think this has shown the sort of relationship that we have as sister organisations with our work around the same group of women and that is improving the outcomes for moms and babies. In fact, tomorrow we'll be back here again with a huge multidisciplinary conference looking at the um, lessons from the Lancet series of midwifery for the UK and for its maternity services. The town is incredibly opportune because we have maternity reviews in England and Scotland and we also have a lot of changes happening in legislation. So I think we need to grasp the metal and try and make things better. I have apologies to convey from our Chief Executive, Cathy Warwick. She's currently in Birmingham today at a meeting of the National Maternity Review. And although she'd have loved to have been here, I think you would agree that her presence is probably more important there than it is here. But she's certainly with us in spirit, if not in body. As Janet says, this award ceremony was created in 1994 in honour Mary Seacole, a truly exceptional nurse who overcame adversity and extreme challenge through tenacity and courage. I actually think I've been around too long because I was at the first ceremony, <coughs> as I think some of the other people here were. So we're, we need the t-shirt for supporting these awards. But we're here today to support what is wonderful in the UK's nursing, midwifery and health visiting professionals. We're championing exceptional nurses, midwives and health visitors who've introduced innovative approaches and who've made a difference to the care and lives of so many people. Today we will see outstanding examples of practice and learn about the projects that they have done that have made huge progress in addressing health or staff inequalities. Our award winners each year demonstrate that they're capable of meeting unmet healthcare needs in fact, sometimes healthcare needs that people have not appreciated that they exist. And they've done so with swiftness, understanding, and with an economy that sets the standard for all healthcare professions throughout the NHS. You'll hear later from our keynote speaker, Jane Cummings, the Chief Nurse, and she has been the continuous supporter of the Mary Seacole Awards by developing the BME leadership capabilities of our awardees beyond their project year. And that again is referenced to the fact that it's an ongoing journey. We have to identify our rising stars, we have to support them as they go on and make a difference and become the leaders of the future. We, need, we know we need to pay close attention to our award winners and as we hear from them, uh, at the end of our award winner, award winning year, it will be my honour to introduce one such scholar, Sarah Amani, who is going to tell us about what it is that she has achieved as a result of being the Florence Nightingale Scholar. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce Sarah.